Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this video, we're going to show you guys a real use case of RPA with Salesforce. Since this is a demo video, I would like to request you guys to please watch until the end so that you don't miss out on any steps. Again, since this is an exclusive content, I would like to request you guys to please follow this channel so that you don't miss out on any more videos from us. Let's get started. For this demo, if you take a look at the account owner, right now the account owner is automated process. Uh, so the use case is uh, a sales rep receives an Excel file. Uh, and in the Excel file, what the sales rep receives is a list of uh, accounts and a list of new owners that needs to be associated to those particular accounts. So what the sales rep does manually, the first thing is to grab the uh, new owner's ID by querying on Salesforce and then try to uh, get the IDs and uh, basically use those IDs and append those IDs in another column and use data loader to upload those IDs. We will be trying to replicate that process using RPA so the first step is to go to rpa manager as i mentioned in the previous video rpa manager can be considered as the brain where you can manage your applications and uh, what you can do you can create an evaluation so here i'm creating an evaluation by putting the name account shuffle process and then providing a description and try to create that and after i try to create that uh, it gives you a, a matrix to fill so here, uh, as you can see, I have a cost uh, a matrix in which I need to put in the manual process time, uh, cost per run and frequency per month. So this matrix is useful to calculate the return of uh, investment. It will give you a graphical representation of uh, what you can expect in terms of return of investment based on what you fill here. After you fill the cost matrix, uh, there are some list of qualifiers and benefits that you need to uh, take care of. These qualifiers and benefits can be uh, uh, accessed through uh, a template called uh, the evaluation criteria. And in this evaluation criteria, you can create a list of qualifiers and list of benefits. Uh, which can be used to generate a process metrics and the qualifiers uh, I have uh, from the evaluation template and I'm gonna try to tweak these qualifiers and benefits if you see the process metrics uh, it is uh, closer to green it means that uh, you can build a RPA bot for this particular manual process I'll click on save so this process evaluation has been saved and the next phase uh, would be the design phase. I'll, I'll click on approve uh, because since I'm the only party that is involved in this process, I don't need any approval from any other uh, professional. Uh, I'll select me as the project manager and hit OK. Now I will go to process management and select the uh, Salesforce apps. When you select the app, you will see your uh, process in action. You need to click on back to process to start uh, with your BPM and diagram. So this is the design phase. As you know, we have four phases, design, build, test, production. And uh, RPA manager gives you the capability to uh, design your BPM and diagram in RPA manager itself and then use that BPM and diagram uh, in your uh, RPA builder. So here what I'm doing, I'm simply creating a, a mock-up diagram because I will be using RPA builder to generate my uh, RPA bot and I will hit on publish. So once uh, it is released to build, I'll click confirm. I can open my RPA builder and then uh, I can uh, start working on the RPA bot itself. So let's head to our RPA builder and try to import this project in action. So now I'm in my RPA builder. Uh, I have imported the project that I just designed and uh, RPA builder is basically 
an on-prem application which will help you to uh, build the RPA bot. As you can see here, uh, I have uh, the BPMN uh, diagram in the palette and uh, what I will do, I will double click on that particular process box and uh, start processing. I have already uh, created uh, the list of uh, tasks that I need to do for this particular RPA use case. Uh, every bot process has three phases, work initialization, activity workflow and work finalization. Activity workflow is where you need to start building your uh, process using various tools from the toolbox. So as you can see here, the first retransaction consists of Salesforce URL. This is the variable that I hard coded with the Salesforce instance. And then we have another variable called SoCool query. This is where I have defined my SoCool query as a variable. And then I have the Excel session. This is the session in which I'm opening the Excel file, trying to read the owner name and opening up the developer console in Salesforce instance to get the ID of that particular owner. As you can see here, the first step I did was writing the log and setting owner name variable and then replacing the owner name that is present in uh, SQL query so that, uh, you know, the text is replaced by the owner name to get the ID of that particular uh, owner. After I do that, I'm writing the uh, so-called query in a text file. And the next step, as you can see, is the open Salesforce instance. In Salesforce instance, I have a couple of uh, keystrokes to web element commands, which will be used to uh, type in the username and password. And then I have a couple of click web element commands, which will be used to click uh, on the uh, web session. Click web element and keystroke to web element can be uh, found in our toolbox. You just need to type a keystroke or click. Simply drag and drop that click web element. So that's what I have done. After I get the ID from uh, SoQL, the next step is to write back to that Excel file because I need to create a column called ID in uh, column C and uh, basically put that ID of that uh, respective uh, owner. And uh, the next step is to change the .xlsx extension to CSV because data loader only accepts .csv. And uh, once that is done, the next step is to run the data loader application. And for that, I have created uh, another app session because once the app is open, I have to run certain uh, commands from uh, RPA Builder to make sure that I upload the CSV file correctly with the correct mapping. Simply drag and drop the run program. And in the app session, as you can see, I have a certain click app element and a certain uh, keystroke uh, elements to do the clickable functions. To get the click app element, simply type in click in the toolbox and drag and drop the click app element. So that's what I did. I'm opening the RPA folder, selecting the CSV file that I just created, as you can see and then choose the existing mapping that I have. And uh, as you can see, the last step is to click finish and click app element. So this is my uh, RPA process that I designed. Now I will show you guys how to run it. Basically what I'm doing, I'm gonna debug this RPA process and we can see the bot in action.
the account owner has been changed to Shubham Kalsi using the RPA bot. So this is how you can uh, build your own RPA bot using uh, RPA manager and RPA builder. I hope you guys like this video. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.